Hey folks, today is uh, Easter Sunday. Nice, beautiful, warm, sunny day here in Southern Virginia. Hoping everybody else had a good uh, Easter out there. And don't forget that uh, just like at Christmas, Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, without Him, there wouldn't be Easter and there wouldn't be a whole lot of other things. But I want to introduce y'all to a friend of mine, a very dear friend. Uh, some of y'all have met her in some of my other videos. But here she is. This is my old girl right here. This is my old uh, Rutgers that was planted back in November around the 16th, 18th, somewhere in there. And she's still going strong. She's all the way up to the ceiling, pressing against the plastic, uh, still making plenty of tomatoes. Um, what I'm going to do is try to drop it down a couple of feet. I've got it uh, suspended by these uh, strings. And the first thing I'm going to have to do, though, is pick off some of these tomatoes right here to kind of lessen the load a little bit. And also, come up under here and get this little cage out. I don't know if y'all can see that from the, so far away. As you can see right here, uh, I kind of started out on a bad foot, so to speak, with this plant and a whole bunch of others as I put this uh, little 39-inch cage around it. That's... Uh, that's just not real good. That wasn't that wasn't a smart idea. When you look at the sheer size of this plant, like I said, this is a Rutgers. It's not known for growing to this height. I've never grown one over like five foot, something like that. Uh, but to have this one all the way up to eight foot is uh, pretty incredible. So what I'm going to do is try to undo this wire right here, get this cage off of it and lighten the load a little bit, pick the fruit off of it, and drop it down a couple of feet and see if, uh, see if I can get her some more room to run. And while I'm picking those off, I'll show you all real quick a beautiful sight right here. Ain't that just pretty? All those nice ripe tomatoes. That wasn't so bad. I got the my little puny cage off of it, which uh, usually works okay with tomatoes outside in the garden, but uh, this right here was a totally different story and she just decided to grow, outgrow that thing like a, a kid would a new shoe. Uh, so you can see I picked the tomatoes off of it, tried to lighten the load a little bit and picked a bunch of these other ones over here too. And this is the box of tomatoes that I just picked. And I tell you what, you don't, you don't get anything better than that. Them things just as pretty. Um, just as nice and soft they're fully ripe uh, the one thing about growing like this in a greenhouse you don't have to worry about you know the bugs and animals coming to mess with your stuff so you can leave it on the vine until it gets ripe and something I do when I pick the fruit I cut each one off and I leave the stem intact that way I don't open up a big hole in the top I think uh, I read somewhere that when you do that uh, it it allows the uh, fruit to go ahead and uh, degrade a whole lot faster so we're able to keep them even though we pick them just about fully ripe nice and soft we can still keep these things uh, for a couple weeks or so inside and uh, you talking about a good tomato sandwich you can't beat that with a stick right there it would certainly be a lot easier if I only had one stem but this plant right here split off into two and then one of those split again so I ended up with three three big stems coming up. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can untie this thing somehow. And get it to drop down. That wasn't so bad. Let me see if I can get the other two now.
Now I don't have those uh, fancy little rolling things that you see in the big greenhouses. I just got my twine tied over the top right here. Trying to do it the poor man's way. But I do believe it's going to be alright. Okay, there she is, all dropped down, tied up, tied back, and ready to go for another two, three weeks at least, something like that. Uh, what I did, I come in here, some of these smaller suckers that were coming out, I just kind of went in and topped them off and did what you call Missouri pruning. Instead of pulling the whole sucker out, just uh, top it and let these leaves grow out. That'll help the plant, you know, as far as the photosynthesis goes, give it some more leaf area to help it do its thing. You come around here, you can see where the stem went, made a curve coming on down there, and then it drops down, got a nice bend in it, tomatoes are very flexible in that regard, especially when they're that long, and something else, while I got your attention, you just uh, look down through there, ain't they some pretty tomatoes right there, these first ones up here. Are German Johnsons you go down there to the uh, the fifth bag and then you got some Drusba and then switch over to some Tsar Colacol but there's some beautiful tomatoes coming on uh, this definitely works and I wish uh, a lot more people would be doing it it's not uh, not too hard the biggest problem in the winter time is just keeping the heat up and if you build you a barrel stove and get that thing set up right you can keep your greenhouse nice and warm and you can do this uh, 12 months out of the year, or at least uh, 10. I wouldn't worry about July and August, just a little bit too hot. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time.